Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Come on, Vin. Come on. Come on, baby. Ah, hello. Let's see what this look. See this. This is the battery to replace the battery for when it runs out, which it will do before the end of this recording. Even though it says that there's one hour and 57 minutes available on the battery. There ain't. <laughs> the, the, the 30 minutes, 35 max, I reckon. So I'll have to stop everything and put it in. <sighs> now, the annoying thing about this... Okay, I'll just, just, just uh, introduce myself. Hello. My name's Jason Newland. Hope I haven't got food over my mouth. I found a, I was going through my beard the other day. I found a sausage. Honestly, food. Getting everywhere. A bowl of cereal was... <laughs> that's ridiculous. Anyway. Um, my name's Jason Newland. Hello. Thank you for joining me. Welcome. Um, this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name's Jason Newland. My website's jasonnewland.com, which is becoming more and more exciting. <laughs> I'll do this with a straight face. More and more exciting. Maybe exciting is not the right word, but useful. Maybe. I mean, ultimately, that's all I want to be in life is a little bit useful. And hopefully one one day get to hold hands with someone it's, it's weird um yeah anyway i'm going romantic because we're getting closer to valentine's day you see so it's the 12th of september hello and uh, please only listen when you can safely close your eyes Vinny is He's, I'm not going to tell you what he's doing. Nope, I'm not going to tell you what you can imagine. But yeah, he's doing that. Whatever you're imagining, that's what he's doing. If you're imagining him skiing, then no, he's not skiing. Mountaineering, no, not mountaineering. Parachuting, not any, not anything with, ends with ing. No, actually, yeah, what he's doing does end in ing. So, uh, anyway, so, I'm trying not to move the thing. Look, you see this? I've got a plaster. If you're watching the video, you'll see a plaster on my arm. I'll tell you all about that. I had to go to a doctor's today. And <sighs> the annoying thing about this, I'll be honest, and I might be able to edit edit it, so you can't see me, but not not you can't see me at all. But um, I wanted to talk about my weight loss, success. But I look fat on it because I'm sitting. I've got this t-shirt, and the way I'm sitting, see that's better. If I was like this. But I, I kind of slouched, and my belly's. It looks like I've got a belly. Because I do have a belly. You know, the the nurse, she she said, oh, we need to measure your waist. I said, okay. And she said, oh, just hold hold your, hold this above your belly button and just turn around and I'll just hold it. I said, what do you mean above my belly button? The waist is pretty much below your stomach, between your stomach and... It's kind of your navel, isn't it? That's where the waist is. She said, not when it comes to health, it isn't. It's your belly, not your actual weight. Because, you know, when you wear trousers, you don't wear them above your your belly button, do you? I don't think. I, I don't, anyway. But, yeah. So that's... I don't want to ruin this story. I don't want to ruin it before I started. So, 
before I go on, I just need to remind you of what is there to be. I, I do have a YouTube channel. <laughs> if you're watching this, then you'll know that, I guess. But um, if you're just listening, or if you're listening, not just listening, because you're wonderful for listening. There's no just about it. Um, if you're listening on a podcast, and you, by the way, you can listen to these podcasts Spotify, Apple Podcasts, pretty much everywhere. And if you're, if you wanna, if you wanna laugh at my funny face, just go to YouTube because I'm on there, and I've got this big smelly beard now, which is good. And um, so I've got a YouTube channel, just my name, Jason Newland. I post everything on there. Basically, I'm kind of updating. <sighs> not updated I'm trying to yeah I'm trying to get all the videos from the past and creating videos for all the old recordings I'm getting there eventually there's nearly 2,000 videos on there I've still got another probably thousand thousand and a half something like that left to do there yeah probably uh, two Ooh, no, probably about a thousand. Probably just about a thousand left, and then that will all be complete. However, I'm trying to just upload ten new recordings a day, new videos from the archive, and I'm also uploading all the new stuff when I do it. So I do realise some things will get lost along the way, but they will be in playlists, and which then brings me neatly to my website I have now on each so if you go to the website jasonnewland.com the I do believe that the adult industry when they got into the internet and started having websites they missed an opportunity because you know you got dot net you've got dot org you've got dot co dot uk you've got dot nz for new zealand i think you've got dot all different ones you've got dot com it says for the adult industry they could have had their own one hmm wonder what it could have been but they didn't what you mean like dot a d l t no <laughs> similar to the uh, so I he's talking about something my website so if you go to the first page I've now included more and more stuff on there every day I'm building it and updating it and stuff it's still going to take a while I mean ultimately it's never going to be finished because of constantly making new recordings but it's it's getting kind of how i want it to be a little bit so for example if you click on sleepy boring objects you know because i think there's 28 or 35 of them podcasts click on that podcast so you go down the page there's you see there's about six six or seven different podcasts click on whatever one you want Sleepy Boring Objects, for example, and it lists them. 35 at the top, 34, 33, whatever. So if you click on 35, on the page, in fact, I'm going to do it just to show you. I'll do it on my web, on my phone. Because I want to prove to myself that it works, because I haven't checked it. Oh, so that's my website. I don't know if you can see that. That's on the uh, thing. So if you go down, so if I go at Sleepy Boring Objects, that's there. You can see that. So I'm going to click on that one. Whoops. If I go back. Sleepy, bo sleepy Boring Objects. That takes me there. And then you've got... I've not got images yet. There will be images. So 35, click on 35, and look, I don't know if you can see that, 
and at the top of the page it's actually you can download it for free the hymn in right started talking there's the video you can click on that and watch the video or if you go down a bit oh, there's the audio as well so there's a the podcast and the video and if you go down um, you can download four versions of the recording and you just basically just click on add to cart and then you can you know it's easy so I'm quite pleased with that it's very very time consuming but it's all right it's okay I'm getting a little bit more confident with How can I have been talking for 11 minutes? I haven't said anything yet. I've not even started the, the recording. I think there's a different time thing. By the way, if the camera sort of shakes and I don't notice it, it's just because Vinny's knocked it and I've been so engrossed in myself and the words that I'm saying because I find it very interesting, even though it is a supposedly a boring podcast to me this is the most interesting thing in the world uh sebastian is uh he's a trans he's german uh he he sent me a lovely message saying that he liked the background he liked the background um that i've got going in the setup and the the picture quality and everything so i'm using a a good camera and um so i was wondering if what anyone else thought if it looks okay i'm very self-conscious because of how let's face it how good looking i am it's very difficult finney mind the mind the tripod please please baby i have to find another way of doing this if he's going to bang into the tripod good boy you're gonna say hello you're gonna say hello to the people on the camera you're gonna say hello hey hello <laughs> give me cuddles no give me cuddles i had to leave him alone today you give me cuddles come on i'll put that over there so it's not on there give me cuddles get daddy cuddles come on you normally like to get up here when I'm when when I'm here. Oh well. So Sebastian, he says um, she likes to list uh, to she like watching this, especially during a bondage session. So I, I don't know what that was about, but thanks to Sebastian, that's very nice of you. Um, so just call me Jimmy. He, he wrote. I don't know what that meant. It meant something to him. Uh, that's his nickname apparently jimmy so i used to, used to know there was this when i was this in uh, insurance there was this young lad he was about 18 and he is one of the top sellers seriously he was 18 years old and i was 31 or something and he everyone called him jimmy i thought that was his name Vinny. Don't lean on the tripod, please. He's literally just getting ready to lean on it. I know he is. It's like that far away from it, honestly. He's now touching it. So if, <laughs> if, the, tri <laughs> if the tripod is shaky, don't worry. It's just... Why did he have to lean against it? He always has to lean against something. It's like, does he think he's going to topple over or something? I mean, he's laying down, like, on his, you know, front, having a bone. But I don't want to have to move this. I mean, I've got to get some kind of cement tripod. Maybe I can get some something hanging from the, the ceiling, have a tripod like that, or there might be another way of doing it, actually. Thinking about it, there might be a way of doing what I've got here with the microphone. 
but then having it so the tripod just stays there I'll look into that anyway I'm learning to use the camera I still don't know what I'm doing with it but I figure if I keep using it keep doing it millions of people can use these cameras so it's not like they're not you don't need a degree you don't it's just I just generally it's supposed to be point and play or point and record and that's what I've done I pointed it at myself but the battery ain't so great I mean I thought a battery would last about 5-10 hours well 5 hours or something but they don't anyway so Jimmy his name was Jimmy but it wasn't his name his actual name was Alex but everyone was calling Jimmy and no one knew why that's the weird thing about it I asked him why do they call you Jimmy he said I don't like it my name's Alex he was a little bit um a bit like these people that do you know they kind of everyone calls them John and they get to a certain age I want to be called Jonathan my name's Jonathan not John but you answer to John for the first 20 years of your life no nope, my name's Jonathan it's almost you know it's Thomas not Tom so I don't know and the thing is Jimmy was his nickname some people even called him James. Jimmy wasn't even his real name, but they were calling him James as if that was his proper name. And I asked him why. He said, I don't know. Because he used to work in the mailroom when he was like 16, and then he worked his way up because he wasn't allowed to work on a sales floor till he was 18 or something. Or 17 or 18. So it was just like... Why? So I asked around. It turned out no one knew why. Just, they got so used to calling him Jimmy that that was it. And then he had a little bit of a... Well, he didn't have a strop, but he kind of let it be known that he wanted to be called Alex. That was his name, Alex. He called a meeting. He, <laughs> he called a meeting. Everyone got around. It. My name is Alex. But Jimmy... What, you want us to call you Alex? He said, yes, Alex. Okay, Jimmy. No, my name's not Jimmy. Why do you call me Jimmy? I don't know. That's what everyone calls you. So if everyone called me Albino Kit Kat, would you call me that? Yeah. You wouldn't question it. What do you mean? Uh so I yeah it was called Jimmy but his name was Alex and that was a weird one I'll tell you something about him we became good friends and he he looked younger than his age so even when he was like 20 because I worked there for a few years uh, even when he was like 19 20 we went to I don't because I worked with him twice so I worked with him in 2001 to two, just before 2003. No, worked with him from 2001 until September, till 2000, no, December 2003. And then I worked with him again in to in a different company, insurance again. Worked with him from 2000 and five until 2007 so i worked with him for a few years and we used to go out for lunch he's the he's the only person i've ever been to a football match with he now lives in canada um but he had never been to a football match we went on like a tuesday or a thursday it was was quiet it was quiet but it was very i was surprised at how bright it was just really bright I mean the word floodlights is not an exaggeration but it was I also was surprised at how small it was 
in a sense of you can see the footballers you can see what's going on even though we weren't we weren't at the back we weren't at the front either you know it was just it, I don't just look so much bigger on the television but actually when we were there it just wasn't as didn't seem as big so just like my belly is not as big in person many may argue oh another thing about Jimmy uh, a couple of things I remember about him is well a few things one this is when he was 18 right when I first kind of met him he because he'd literally been at left school two years ago two years previous and I think he had a 17 year old girlfriend and he he said that she'd come round his house and he'd leave out his pay slips so that <laughs> she'd come across them and she'd see them because he was earning for an 18 year old he was earning really really good money I mean, the average 18-year-old would not be earning that amount of money. He was doing really well. He didn't have any rent to pay. He was living at home. and you know, So he was doing really well for himself. So he used to leave out his pay slip so they could see that he's earned like two grand in the month or whatever. And they could be impressed. And I thought about how much I earned when I was 18. It was about £60 a week, which was 60, one to two... I'd be lucky if I if I hit three hundred pound a month when I was eighteen. It's like wow. Um, we had different styles of selling. His style of selling was well, okay. My style of selling was talking, building rapport, getting kind of to know the person, spending way too long on the phone. I really did. I got in trouble, but they struggled to argue with it as well because I was successful. I did, did the did the deed, as it were, did what was supposed to be done. My conversion rate was about 25%. So every four, every four calls I got a sale. Or every four quotes, not every four, not, not calls, because some people phoned up. Uh, do, you, do, you, uh, do you have milk, cow milking equipment? You know, it's like random stuff. That wasn't fair to add that. But they used to have that stats as well. And I think I used to... 15% of calls to sell. But 25% of quote to sell. So that's... I was the top... Top... Top stats... Oh, that was... You know me and stats. That I was the top. No one ever beat me on that. People beat me on the amount of sales. People beat me on... The amount of money they earned, they beat me on being better well dressed and being more successful in probably every other aspect of their life. But conversion, quote, like you're doing a car insurance quotation to actually selling, I was number one, 25% for continuously, and so you know, during their first job anyway. So, but I used to talk. On and on. It's going to be hard, hard for you to believe. You know, tell I thought about. You know, someone kind of comes over me for the first time in uh, on YouTube, and they they kind of like, who's this bloke? He's very, very sure of himself. He talk. This, this is only he's only just started making videos. Really, this is like I'm new or something. He's only got he's only got thirteen hundred subscribers. He's he's talking like he's he's like been around forever. Well, look at me. I've clearly been around a long time, but I guess I don't. Even though I'm on camera, I'm not talking like this is my first video because it's not. Uh, for those who don't know, I know people listening on the podcast will know. Some people on the YouTube will know as well and also it's a small amount of uh, YouTube views don't get many it's building but it's, it's still slow it's gradually you know gradually going up but I used to have 
a fairly successful YouTube channel, which was really growing, going really well. Um, back in from 2007 to 2012 or 2013, it took a few years. <laughs> it took a few years to kind of get anywhere, but it was going really well. And then I deleted it. So this is a relatively new YouTube channel. And I've only really been putting energy into it lately. However, these podcasts, these Let Me Boy to Sleeps uh, recordings, this is what well, I've been doing this for six, nearly be seven years in February, I think, or March. So I have six and a half years, maybe. So I've been doing these a long time. And also I've been making podcasts since 2007 or 2006 so yeah I've been making videos and podcasts audio recordings and video recordings since 2006 putting them online started off on MySpace progressed to Facebook progressed to YouTube um, and there was lots of different lots of different video platforms back then a lot of uh I would even say better than YouTube video platforms, but they didn't have the backing. I'm wondering if YouTube bought them up just to get, you know, maybe they had technology that they didn't have that they could incorporate into their own thing. But I'm guess I'm thinking they might have bought them. Yeah, there's still a few around, but I don't think anyone really uses them. I mean, Vimeo is the only one. Vimeo, V-I-M-E-O. Uh, I think that's used more for professional people. Uh, I think because you you can you can actually sell your videos on there and you can do stuff like that. So that's quite a good um, platform, but it's not it's not the same as YouTube. In a sense, really, it, it is similar, but it's it's been around a long time though. What's my point? There might have been a point. I don't know. Vinny, keep away from the tripod. This is annoying me now because I really do wonder. I know he's going to bang into the tripod because he's he's licking his tail and. He's all over the place, kind of, you know. Uh, I suppose I could cordon it off. Maybe if I put something behind. I don't know. Why am I worrying? It doesn't matter. If it falls over, I'll just catch it and continue and just edit it out. So it doesn't doesn't really matter, I guess. It's no different from him barking and me having to edit that out. Which he hasn't yet, but... I don't know, I've got the windows closed, curtains drawn, and the door shut. But today is Thursday, and the chip van will be here at some point. And once that's here, he usually barks when that arrives. He loves the smell of sausages. It's normal, though. That's a dog thing. It's normal, isn't it? Dogs are supposed to like sausages. Uh, so, yeah, I... Another thing that Jimmy, me and Jimmy, we went to this. Oh yeah, well how Jimmy would do it. His way of selling is this. Blah, 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 blah. Next. Blah, 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 blah. Do you want it? Next. Blah, 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 blah. Do you want it? Next. That was it. He'd just get through the quotations so quick. Like a couple of minutes. I'd spend like half an hour, sometimes an hour. He'd do it in a couple of minutes. And... Then he'd say, do you want it or not? Or probably not like that, but he's like, just set that up. He was good at selling at the end, but he didn't put any effort. It was like really quick. I think if he, if he liked the person, then he'd chat to him. But he that was his style. Quick, in and out, and then move on to the next one. It was a numbers game for him. And, which is strange, not strange, but he had a really good personality and was very funny. So he could have done what I do but I couldn't do what he did. He could have sat on the phone all day talking to people, having long conversations and getting a sale. 
he could have made them laugh like I did and just, you know, well, I attempted to. But he could have done that. But there's no way I could have sat there all day, bleh, bleh, sh 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 sh, you know. It, it, no, I couldn't have done that because it's just that would that would have just been mind numbing for me. Um, so he didn't. His he'd quite often earn more money than me, and he'd get more sales than me, which that's why he earned more money. But his conversion rate would be like minus <laughs> no it, it would be like lower than mine but that's the only thing that would be lower it'd be ahead and everything else so there was one a couple of kind of stories I got about him I don't know why I'm talking about Jimmy it's probably because of Sebastian um because that message that she sent so I just think um I apparently enjoys wearing wooden clogs for some reason and balancing eggs on his head. But anyway, back to Jimmy. He there's a couple of things I remember about him. One is quite early on. I don't know what it was early. I don't know when it was, but we went out for lunch. So we used to go out for lunch when we worked together the first time and we used to because we was in the same team and we used to go out for lunch the second time that we worked in the same company but this time I was in a, a different department so I, could, I was quite flexible with when I could go for lunch so he'd come up and we'd go out and we'd do that pretty once a month so he the first time when we kind of when we used to go out for lunch and um, he he needed to get some new shoes so he said oh I think we might be going to the pub or going to get some sandwiches or something like that and he said oh, I need to just pop in and get some new shoes I said alright so he went in I'm just standing behind I'm waiting for him so I'm with him just behind him or next to him or whatever and he says, have you got any... And he asked for the type of shoes. The person behind the counter of the shoe shop said, um, we've only got those in a size, th like size five, but we can order them in, but it will take probably three days. Is that okay? To me said it to me not to him so he asked for a size nine in because i think he got one off the off the counter off the shelf you know he wanted those sneakers or whatever they was um and are they called sneakers because you can sneak around in them is that why they're called sneakers because we call them trainers in this here country so so he was oh have you got that in a size nine sorry but we don't but we can get it in about three days time completely didn't look at him looked right at me and it didn't dawn on me until he looked at me and smiled and I realised they thought I was his dad he found it hilarious because at this point he was what I don't know 19 he look, still looked about 15. Even when he was... What, a few years later, he still looked young. He didn't look more than 17 or 18 when he was like in his late 20s. He just very young, just looked young. I clearly looked old. Because I was only 31, 32. Like 36, 37 when we was going out late, going for lunch, going out, when we were having lunch later on. The other time I remember, it's memorable because we used to go and get pizza. I think it was at the Pizza Hut. And it used to be a, we'd go on a certain day where you could get all you can eat. 
or maybe they had it every day, I don't know. But it's all you can eat for a 10 hour or 20 quid or whatever it was. So we went there. So he he came and got me and I was busy on a call doing listening because I used to mark the calls to make sure they were doing the job right and everything. So that was, that was my job at that point, a compliance officer. And so he appeared. So I said, I'll wait a second and I just finished what I was doing. And then we went off. Went into this, to, so we walked up. It's quite a way, it wasn't totally close to where we were living where we were working yeah it's probably a good 10 15 minute walk so it wasn't a good a great thing to do really but we went there and but sometimes we'd go there with our boss and we'd have a, like a, a team lunch every i don't know if it's every month maybe every few months We'd have a team lunch and it might be in every month we go somewhere different and Dan he was brilliant that was my boss it was only three of us so it was him he was the boss and then there was a lady that I worked with and me so there's the three of us and we got on really really well and so it's, we used to go out the good thing about going out with your boss going to lunch with your boss is you ain't got to worry about the time. He's the one that has to worry about the time. So if we got back late, it was on him. Brilliant. You know, I'd just be eating really slowly. Just like, oh, we're five minutes late already. Don't say nothing. <laughs> so uh, we get back. I mean, we got back 20 minutes late once. And uh, I was so, just so pleased until it was time to go home and he said where are you going so what do you mean so you still got 20 minutes to do we've got to make it up after work brilliant so anyway me and alex or jimmy we went into this into the pizza hut and there was a few people in there it wasn't like busy 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 but then it was, it was like two in the afternoon, so it wasn't, that was kind of what time his shift was doing. He must have been on a late shift. Or, I don't know. There's, it's, it, with, there's lots of different shift patterns and stuff in insurance. Well, in lots of jobs, I guess. Anyway, walk in there, sit down. He's sitting down on one side, I sit down on the other side and thing is when we went in there normally they just like let you sit down wherever you want and they said they thought would you like to is it just a just a table for two yeah don't pretend this is a proper restaurant this is just a you sell pizza i know it is a it is technically if you eat in a place it's a restaurant but it's a pizza you know it's lunchtime to pizza it wasn't like it was the evening or anything like that and evening Although it was in the winter, so it might well have been quite dark by then. Because it gets dark very early in this country. In the winter. I mean, sometimes it's like dark by 10 in the morning. It's ridiculous. The sun don't come out at all. So... Oh, we walk in. And... Get shown to a table for two. All the tables are divided. Like normally, you just like t four tables, you know, two tables together, together, like four tables. Or, yeah, two, no, two tables together, you'd be either side of the table. Uh, so you could fit four usually. Some, some had like six or eight tables together, so you could sit in a group. They had them all separate. Just one table on its own for, uh, with two seats. So I sat down. And we both look at the look down at the table at the same thing. There's a rose in the middle of the table sticking out of a little vase, vase thing, like one of those this little thing, a little pla uh, probably plastic actually. But it was it was a real rose. 
and I was there and I thought, why is there a rose? And Alex, Jimmy, starts laughing. And I said, what? And he said, it's Valentine's Day. Hmm. Okay. So we basically ended up having a romantic meal together. It was weird. You know, it's like... Don't assume. Why were they assuming just because it's Valentine's Day that everyone that goes out is going to be having romantic meals? We were just getting something to eat. Pizza, that was a treat. It was like, you know, I like a pizza. Although I'm going to come on to that soon. Not pizza, but food. I'm going to be talking about food. I don't know what time I started this recording. I'm trying to keep track of things so that I don't mess up. Because, uh, did I tell you that the other day, I think it was last week, I did a, did a recording. It was about an hour and a half. It was a good rec- Well, it seemed okay. The cam, no, the... What's it? The microphone, the the recording equipment shut down. Didn't know. And apparently the disc was full. But it did let off a weird sound. Now, I didn't know that. Just like when the camera, when it it goes... And then it shuts down. So, at least I know when the camera does it. With the uh, recording equipment, there was a certain sound that I've never heard it do before. It's not the first time that I've done that, but it hasn't happened for a long time. So now, before I start, I delete all the old recordings from the disc. Uh, I don't know why I can't... I wonder if there's a way of saving it to like a hard drive. I wonder if that's possible. Uh, Never know. So yeah, so that that was interesting. Just turning up and we came back, and the my boss and the uh, the lady I worked with found it very funny. Just the fact that we ended up having a romantic meal, and when the reality is, we just stuffed our faces as much as possible. Now, what my boss used to do when we went out whether it was Chinese, whether it was Indian, whether it was pizza, whether it was just anything, basically. He'd try and find somewhere where you could have all you eat, all you eat buffet, all you can eat buffet, rather. And he'd go there, and he'd he'd literally, he'd get up in the morning, he wouldn't eat anything. He'd go to bed at night, didn't didn't eat anything before going to bed. That's what he said, and he wouldn't eat anything before getting to work before coming to work and he'd be waiting honestly for about 60 days and then he'd be like waiting and then when he got there he would consume so much stuff I didn't do that I mean for me even if it's all you can eat I will I I had a few but I'm still not going to have I'm still not going to even eat a whole pizza because they sell them in slices. I still didn't eat a whole pizza because there's not enough time. Because by the time we got there, we'd be lucky to even have 25 minutes to eat. You know, it's, it was... It's a good time, so I feel quite nostalgic about it. So, today, today, my dears, I don't know what happened, but this was the subject. The subject matter is, I, oh, by the way, my Facebook page, Jason Newland's Boring Group on Facebook. It's a private group, but you can join. Great place to join. 
uh, and you can get to see stuff that I post and uh, new recordings, new videos. Uh, also, I ask you can ask me questions and stuff on there. Which brings me to the next thing. Uh, it's Q and A Friday tomorrow. So I've already got four questions asked that have been asked. If you do have any questions, please go to my Jason Newlands. Um, what is it? Facebook group. The camera went dark. I like the picture because I've got one of those flip camera things, so it opens up so I can see myself. But the screen's there, or the camera's there. The screen's there, even though it's pointing. I think it might be coming to. I mean, it's saying I still got an hour and nineteen minutes left on the battery, but I've used up. So yeah, the battery did just run out then. So I got about 47 minutes. It's not bad. So I'll put in a fresh battery. So it should be. Weirdly enough, it still says one minute, one hour, 19 minutes of battery life. So I don't know what it's doing, but it's a fresh battery and it is fully charged. So it should be fine. If it isn't, what I do is what I did with the other video a few days ago where it cut off I posted the video but then I just let it go black like the screen go black when the video ran out and continued with the audio so you could still watch you could still listen to it I'm trying to cover my stomach up see the the screen the the angle might be a little bit different to what it was before I'm gonna have a drink of water I remember does whenever I drink water because I don't drink water in front of the camera usually. Sometimes I do. I don't even drink water that often when I'm making a recording. But I just still remember when I had someone have a go at me. It was a YouTube video and saying, Oh I just I, I just find it disgusting when you drinking water when you're making a recording, when you're making a video, or oh, it just turned my stomach. Like really now the ironic thing I don't know if it's irony or not but I made that recording after having probably 10 days of, after 10 days of a chest infection not being able to do anything and I was able to talk for an hour with the help of the odd bit of water to do a video so Okay, all together. There's a hero. If you look inside your screen, you can see it's the old man with the funny beard. Right, okay. Oh, that's weird. If I do that, the screen goes weird. Look. Okay, I'll stop. I thought that it, it cut out, but basically it's... It changes the focus. So, I I had a doctor's appointment today. And I talked a bit about the being pre-diabetic, being told that I was my my diabetes, I have the high cholesterol high sugar level, blood sugar level, high cholesterol, very much overweight, uh, BMI, whatever it is, forget about it. It was, you know, on a different scale. It was all, well, not all of it, but a lot of it was in the danger zone. Some of it was high risk. Others like, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> stop. So, I... They gave me three months, re not three months. They said, that sounds bad, and they gave me three months to make some lifestyle changes. So that's what I've done. I've not made all the changes that I need to do, but I've cut sugar out of my diet. No tea, no sugar in the tea, no 
really no chocolate, no cakes, no... I have the occasional takeaway delivered. I do. It's rare, but I have the occasional one. So maybe once a month I'll have a KFC or something. Or But it's rare. Okay. So I have... That's it really, you know, I try and eat a bit healthier. I've got a lot of work to do on that, but at least I've kind of started the journey, if that if that makes sense. And I've been exercising and stuff like that. So, I am now, I'm a, a stone and a half lighter, or is that 11 kilos lighter than I was before? So, which is, I didn't realise oh, like I'd done that much, so that was good. Uh, I'm officially five foot nine, not five foot eight. They had that down from last time I was there, because they they measured me. Like, she said, "Well, we can redo it if we recheck." I said, "No, no, 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 no. That's fine. You're professional." If you say that I'm five foot nine, I'm five foot nine. Now, some people may say, "Why would you get excited about being five foot nine? I've been five foot eight since the age of what sixteen, which is over fourteen years. And so, for me, what do you mean it's over forty? There, are, I'm I'm guaranteed there's someone listening or watching this saying. What do you mean, 16? It was over 14 years. So 16 uh, plus 14, that takes you to 30. You're at least another 20 years above that. Yeah. I'm 54. Well, 54, uh, 16, if you go 14, it's like, no. It's over 14 years, isn't it? So so I was right. (laughs) So, that was a bit... <laughs> it's the mommy, wasn't it? <laughs> to there. <laughs> um. Anyway, ooh. So I'm holding on to that. Five foot nine. Sometimes it really does only take an extra inch. One add add an inch on. It makes all the world a difference. I I genuinely felt taller when I left the nurse's office in the doctor's surgery. I I can't really explain it. Now I've always been a short ass. It's it's just accept I accept it. I'm not worried, to be honest, I'm not bothered. Um if anything, I'd like to be taller, but I kind of also like to be shorter. I like the idea of being about five foot two, five one. It's just because I don't know. Just uh, some of my favourite people are short, like Ronnie Corbett was one of my favourite comedians, and he was like five foot one or something. Uh, there's lots of actors that are very short as well. They don't look short on screen, but they are. Uh, so. Is I mean Arnold Schwarzenegger? He's only like five four. On the sc- on the screen, you know, one of his uh, Arnie's, one of his best friends in in the bodybuilding world, and they stayed friends I think forever until this bloke passed away. Was called Franco Colombo, and he also won the Mister Olympia, but he was. He was up to about Arnold's chest. So he was a much lighter weight. But some would argue had a better body. Uh, I, I, To be fair, I think it's hard to... I mean, I know that the Mr. Olympia, Mr. Universe, Mr. whatever, all the different Mr. things. There's also the Arnold Classic as well. But there's lots of different bodybuilding contests. And I know that they're, they are judged. But there's a certain point where... 
it's minimal. It's like once a bodybuilder's of that kind of size or that definition, then no one's really better than them. They might have been able to, you know, they might be a bit bigger, a bit more muscular, a bit more symmetrical, blah, 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 blah. a bit better, more cut, more, managed to get rid of more liquid, whatever. But to say that anyone's better than Arnold or anyone's better than, I don't know, whoever, Lee Haney, Rich Gaspari. Oh my goodness, he knows bodybuilders' names. Ones that aren't famous or on television or in movies. Yeah. Do you remember, I remember the, the Incredible Hulk. We always used to call him Lou Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno. No, Lou Ferrigno. That's it. It's actually Lou Ferrigno. We used to call him Lou Ferrigno. And that's what everyone used to call him back then. I say everyone. I did travel around the country. I did a, did some research. I was eight. So people were quite friendly. They told me. Do you call him Mr... Would you, would you call the Hulk? Well, Bill, Bix, Bill Bixby. No. No, the, the, the Hulk. When he's the Hulk, not when he's... Mr. Banner. But that is the whole. It's the same person, isn't it? Same person. I said, no, no, it's not the same person. It One's, one's uh, Bill Bixby, and that's Dr. Banner, when he's human. And then he turns into a Hulk, and it's Lou, Lou. Whoa, whoa. Need to go to the toilet. No, I'm not saying I need the Lou. I'm saying his name was Lou. What What's his surname? What the Hulk? No! Faringo. I think you should have changed it to Faringo. It's easier to say. Vinny, what are you doing barking? Don't start. I'll tell you what happens is I've got a neighbour. This time of the day, the chip van should be around there between, I don't know, within a like two hour period between seven and ten, or seven and nine rather. It's not particularly reliable for a particular time, a certain time. It's so what it, uh, one of my neighbours is in and out of his flat, constantly hovering around, waiting to because he wants to catch the catch them, even though they will wait for him because he's their most loyal customer. They'll even come to his house. I mean, he got stuck in the uh, he got stuck in his flat a few weeks ago, and. It wasn't his, the, basically the lock broke, couldn't get out. So I called, the, I, I did a whole recording on it, called the council, all that stuff. Anyway, I went outside, he asked me, can you tell the chip van that I can't get out? So, they don't, so they're not waiting for me. So he was worried about them. And in the end, they packed the chips and the fish and they, all everything they gave it to me it didn't charge me. They said, "Well, you can pay next week." They gave me a free portion of chips, and they packed it so I can get it through the letterbox. Which makes me think that wasn't the first time that's happened. So, but yeah, he's in and out, and every time he opens his door, and the thing is, he opens his door so quietly, I can't hear it. He, however, can. And it's not just that there's movement or there's a tiny sound. He's excited because he wants to go and say hello to the neighbour. So it's, it's kind of one of those weird things. And sometimes I hear him shout, Here I have any! Like, that's not helping. Because, you know, he talks to him through the door. Like, he's going to make more noise now. More noise. So, yeah. So i got to watch out for him. Marikin. So yeah, I go, I go to the... This morning... So I I couldn't face really... I don't know what the buses times are and that they're not hugely reliable which will become evident in later on in the story. And I was sitting at the computer and I got very 
a big part of me wanted to just stay doing what I was doing. So I was building the website and I knew I had to go. But I kept doing it. I thought, no, this this will, you know, and part of me wanted to go back to bed. The appointment was at 10.31 a.m. 10.31. I don't know either. It turns out I had two appointments. One was for a blood test. Hence the what's it thing. And the which is that is to check my blood sugar level, my cholesterol, kidneys, all that stuff. As to sort of see where I am with that. But this is like a five year, a five year checkup, like a full medical thing. The although because I'm on mental health medication, I get a yearly checkup anyway. But it's not thorough like this was. Usually I get like a blood test uh, and they'll or they do a medication review or something like that. Uh, check my, I think it's standard to sort of check uh, blood pressure. So I have my blood pressure done. She said to me, how is your blood pressure? I said, I don't know. You're, you're the one with the machine. Oh, come here. So like, I don't know how, how am I supposed to know how my blood pressure is? I didn't say it, not rudely, but like, I don't know. Uh, although I did buy a machine and it broke. She said, why, how did it break? I said, I think it's because I'm so muscular and I've just got, and she laughed. It wasn't actually supposed to be a joke, but hey, she laughed, so hey, I'll take that, I guess. And the, it did break, actually. But the reason I bought that is because my blood pressure was high. So I've had high blood, that was louder, I've had high blood pressure in the past. And it's been a bit of an issue, not a big issue. It, it was an issue to the point where, you know, I need to do something about it. I've had high cholesterol in the past where they said that they might have to put me on uh, medication for it. Uh, was it something, I don't know, it's always, it was some kind of medicine, but um, then they said once you're on it, you're on it forever. Maybe it was a high blood pressure they did that for. Anyway, I managed to get it down in the past a bit. This time, cholesterol was perfect. Not perfect, but really good. Way, way down from what it was. I was in the high risk area last time. This time, blood pressure, perfect. Like below what it should be. Not, but not dangerously below, but you know, it's just really it was like perfect blood pressure, which I was surprised about. Pleasantly surprised. Uh, took my cholesterol because although I'm getting my cholesterol done again in a few months, well, no, next few weeks actually, with the mental health um, review thing. They, she, and she also, uh, that, that, yeah, no, the blood pressure's being done then, but the cholesterol was part of the blood test that I had done. But she also said, I can't complete the form unless I do a cholesterol test with you right now by um, putting a prick in your finger. So I said, yeah, fine. Can't even see it. Look, it was my thumb, I think. And did that. It took a little while, but then it came back really good. So cholesterol's good. Blood pressure's perfect. I've lost a stone and a half, pretty much. So I'm at a good weight. I'm not at the perfect weight. I've still got weight to lose. But it's, you know, she said also because of my build and because of how many muscles I've got. <laughs> yeah. I've got some. I do have some somewhere. So I'm never going to be light, light. Yeah, not like I used to be, because I've got some something on me. You know, there's stuff on there. It's, some, it's just hidden, hidden with fat. So what else was there? So my BMI was way better than it's, than it's ever been. 
uh, still got to get that down uh, we figured out probably if I get down to probably lose another half a stone if I get down to 14 stone because I'm what am I 14 and a half if I get down to 14 stone maybe even 13 and a half you know I don't don't really I'd say 14 I think if I can get down to 14 stone but at the same time lose more fat but you know add some muscle maybe weight training and stuff and yeah so that's I may never be skinny again I don't think I could I mean I suppose maybe in my in my belly maybe I could be skinny again I don't know but it, in order for me to get down to be a lot lighter I'd have to lose muscle as well as fat so you know it's I'm I'm pleased I can't be pleased it's it's progress it's progress progress so oh he's, he's getting all he's looking down like oh poor me what he's got his food there he's got his water there he's he's staying up but he's why don't you come and give me cuddles give me cuddles Vinny give daddy cuddles yeah come on come on he's just staring at me okay so yeah, blood pressure, perfect, never been perfect before, like never, it's been okay, it's been high, it's been okay, never been perfect, the cholesterol's way dropped down, I don't know about the sugar, blood sugar level, but if the cholesterol's gone down, my blood pressure's gone down, The I've lost weight, and I haven't had it any sugar I've cut down on pretty much all sugar for the last three months my blood sugar level must be way down compared to what it was uh, that kind of makes sense to me I think what else oh yeah the no that was it wasn't it I think that's everything however well because of just based on all the statistics of that I've got my heart is 62 years old this is based on the past and everything so uh, they're, they're just their kind of accumulation of my lifestyle my, what my lifestyle has been like in the past and stuff like that so I said, well, how can I get it down? Because the overall, also I got 10%. My chance of, they call it BMV or MVP, or I forget what it was, basically, I don't want to say the words out loud, but the chance of uh, something going wrong, you know, um, 10% chance, so out of 100, so... Uh, based on where I am health wise now it was higher than that before um, of course with age it goes that percentage goes up anyway just just through human human life and stuff but uh, if I make some changes I can get it down to about 7% uh, that's about as low as I can get it uh, based on my age and stuff I mean even if I was to lower cholesterol sugar all that stuff even my weight that's not going to make that much a huge difference to be able to get it below that you can't you, I can't get it down to zero um, and maybe that's not possible for anyone just statistically I mean some people are fine and always going to be fine but so uh, there's a few more changes I need to make and I'm, yeah I'm going to do that one thing is exercise because although I'm I'm doing weights I do do I want a punch bag and I've got I do take him out 
at least four times a day. So I'm out for half an hour time usually, and sometimes less, sometimes more. But she says, do you ever get out of breath? And I said, and I'm saying, no, no, I could even walk up the stairs and don't get out of breath. She said, no, you don't understand me. Do you ever get out of breath? I said, no, unless I run, then of course I do. She said, no, the fact that you're supposed to get out of breath. I said, I thought it was a good thing that I don't get out of breath. She said, no, it, in order for you to exercise and to uh, to help your cardiovascular system, you need to do exercise where you get out of breath. I said, okay, well, let's be honest then. Um, <laughs> I do get out of breath going up the stairs. She said, no, that's not, that just means you're, un, you're unhealthy. What you need, <laughs> it's like, well, you make up your mind. Because, you know, some people say, oh, if you're on a punch bag or if you're lifting weights, that's not cardiovascular. Why? If you do something, it gets you out of breath, then it's cardiovascular. So technically, me walking to the bathroom and back, if it gets me out of breath, that's exercise. It's really good exercise. So she re recommended that I, you have to do, to, to, she's put me down as like one hour a month of strenuous exercise, like cardiovascular, based on the amount of walking I do. So I'm doing two hours a day. So what's that? 60 hours a month walking. And that only classes as, well, I do walk slowly. But that's only classed as one hour of exercise. Strenuous ex like, you know, cardiovascular. So what I might do is dust down the exercise bike. Here's my plan. Start off tomorrow, because I always find that tomorrow is better to start than now. Start off tomorrow. Do one minute. One minute of, um, I was going to say rowing. And I thought sailing, like no, cycling. One minute of cycling. You might think, well, that's not a lot. I'd agree. But then... I do a minute the day after, then a minute the day after that, a minute the day after that. Next week, so beginning of next week, let's say, I do two minutes every day for a week. Next following week, three minutes of cycling every day for a week. Then four minutes every day for a week. Five minutes like that. And you might think, well, what's the point in that? If you think about it, in a year's time, I'll have done 52 minutes. I'll be doing 50, nearly an hour a day cycling. In 10 years, I'll be doing like nearly 10 hours on the bike. I'll be getting up, getting on the bike. When I get off the bike, going back to bed. 20 years, I'll be sleeping on the bike. With only four hours rest off the bike. 30 years. Oh. So yeah, it's uh, like so incremental changes. Because I did that years ago. I did it three times. Uh, not, not the bike thing, but I did this thing three times. First time I did it was... My late... Oh, 98. About 98. Maybe 99. I decided to do press-ups and sit-ups every day in the morning, maybe in the night as well, I can't remember. But I just did a few. So I did as many as I could before it kind of got enough. So maybe I did 10. That was enough. I did 10 sit-ups. The next day I added one. The day after I added another one. I might have started off at one press-up and one sit-up, but if I'm honest, I probably didn't. So I would have found that a little bit boring. So I probably started off seeing how many I could do and then just add in one every day. And I got up to about 140. 
So I'd, I, I got up to about 140 uh, I, I could do at a time. And sit-ups, and, and I had a sit-up bench like I've got in the bedroom. A different different one, but same same thing really. And I just did the push-ups, press-ups like on the floor. Transformed my body. I really transformed my body in... I mean, what is that? Three, six, nine, twelve. So four months, twelve hundred. So yeah, like after the first month, I could really kind of see the difference. But after three or four months, I was ripped. Like everything was just. I didn't weigh much, but it was just like. A, like I was a little little walking muscle. It was it was quite good. And then I did it again in two thousand and nine. Vinny he's leaning up against the thing. See I told you he'd do that. Why does he have to do that? So two thousand nine when I was doing boxing, I used to go boxing twice a week. I did the same thing. Started off how many I could do, and then just added one a day, and yeah, that that kind of. No, I did that in two thousand nine, but then so I did it in ninety eight, ninety nine, then I did it again in two thousand and four. This time, I was a lot heavier. I was probably thirteen stone, overweight, but nowhere near what I am now. But because I'm a lot heavier now, but. I was, I felt a lot bigger than I am now, if that makes sense, like fat wise. But I, and I was sitting down all day in a, in a call center. So 2004, I stopped working the call center. I started working part time in a, uh, a gift shop. So I was on my feet all day when I was working. And then I was, doing the same thing I was doing at this time I was doing Wing Chun Kung Fu uh, three times a week but this I was also vegetarian for a, during that period stopped drinking for the whole year didn't drink any alcohol at all and I did the, the sit-ups and the push-ups I didn't do any other weights that's all I did and again because we used to have a bath it's a shared house and I just noticed because there was a big mirror opposite the bath, and I'd get out, I'd get up, and I just saw the transformation. Not, I wasn't not in front of me, but it was like as time went, like it was quite interesting to see. I've never been able to repeat that, although I did. So I got very, I got down to eleven half stone. So 13, 11, half, 12. So yeah, I lost a stone and a half. But, you know, I was really, really fit. So that's probably the fittest I've ever been. As far as, I was so slim. So even though I was a lot heavier than I was in 2009, I was still a lot fitter. It's weird, because I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. So now I know I can't get down to 11 and a half stone. It's not even an option. In fact, my, I just don't, just, it's not going to happen. So, um, I mean, what's that? 11 and a half, 12 and a half, 13 and a half. It's three stone I'd have to lose. If I lost three stone, I would just look skinny. Like really skinny. So, I don't really want to go down to 11 and a half stone. I would, if it was like needed you know but it's not needed doesn't don't need to get down to that weight that time i just it just happened naturally i wasn't trying to lose weight but i was trying to get fit get you know and because i was training doing the wing chun kung fu three times three nights a week i was also doing the extra exercise and lots of cardiovascular as well so you know those combined did the job and then in 2009 I was doing boxing 
So I had the cardiovascular of twice a week. So the camera's, oh brilliant, the camera's just shut off. So it just goes, it says the camera overheated. This is getting silly, I might as well just use the phone. What, 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 ugh. Never mind. It's okay, it doesn't really matter because I'm still doing the audio, so it'll just go black, the screen will go black on the, on the video, and it's okay, it's fine. But I do wonder, unless I kind of stick to an hour, maybe I'll just use the phone. Because Vinny, oh, it's good now because now he's moving around and he's knocking the camera all over the place. It doesn't matter, does it? Because it's not on anyway. They need, to, perhaps, there's a way of stopping it from overheating. Yeah. I mean, it is quite warm in here. I've got these lights on. They're very, very hot lights. And the heating might be on because it's pretty cold. The temperature's really dropped the last couple of days. So it is quite warm in here. But, ah, oh well. So where was I? Oh, yeah. So 2009, I... Instead of slimming down, I did slim down, but I didn't slim down. If that makes sense, I didn't. I didn't end up with abs, with with like a, a tiny tummy, like I did in two thousand and four. I mean, I was proper, really slim, and also in ninety nine. But this time, I kind of got bigger. Uh, like mus more muscular, bigger, and because I was doing weights every night, I was on a punch bag in the garden every night, every day rather, and going to the training and boxing twice a week. So that's when I was at university. So I, I managed to yeah, I, I think I probably lost fat but put weight on in muscle, and then. <laughs> Since then, I've just turned into a blob. I mean, technically, when I was doing um, Taekwondo back in, I started doing that in 2011. Right. Um, I just got hugely interrupted just then. And I don't even know where my phone is. Oh, there it is. So, Vinny went absolutely hysterical. And then, Vinny's trying to get a treat off of the top. But he, he went and basically, my neighbour was knocking. And he it was he needed, some, needed help, so it's fine. But I'm sort of dealing with that. And... I genuinely cannot remember what I was talking about because I must have been talking for about 15 minutes out there. So, yeah, I don't remember. Something about, I know the battery went hot. Oh, so, basically, the whole doctor situation was good. You know, I've got to lose a bit more weight, but it, it, it'll be good. Oh, yeah. Taekwondo. They said to me, I remember the person said, oh, you lost weight. I thought, cool. Because when I did Wing Chun, I was, they said to me, oh, you lost weight. I said, yay. And when I did the boxing, they said, you lost weight. I said, oh, really? Brilliant. Wing, and then I did the Taekwondo, and they said, you lost weight. I thought, yeah, of course. Of course I have, I always do lose weight when I do training. I didn't say that, but I was thinking like, yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, I see a picture late recently of me after one of the gradings. And the belt, my, my belly is, literally you can't even see the belt because my belly's flopped over it. <laughs> it's, 
if I lost weight, I don't know how how fat I was before. It, seriously. So, um, oh well. So it's maybe if I could, if I could find some kind of physical training to do because I only really like like martial arts or stuff like that. I don't. I'm not really into things like badminton or football or um, you know those kinds of sports. Just it's just never really interested me. But I do. You know I love doing karate at school and doing Wing Chun, uh, Taekwondo, boxing. So maybe I, I think I need to do something that's not so kicky because Taekwondo is very very mainly kicky, much more above. Uh, you know, punchy. Boxing's obviously it's all punchy. Um, See, so yeah, I don't know. I'll have, I'm going to need to look at it. See if there's anything I can do a couple of times a week where I'm having to be active. Physically, like, running around a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I mean, genuinely. I, mean, I might ask to join the boxing club, but just say, please don't make me do stuff. See if I can just join as an old person for the training simply because I love boxing and see if they'll allow me to join the amateur boxing club. So I used to be with them, but it was, I was like 39, now 54. I was old then. So it, it they had me like doing stuff that they had all the kids doing, like running around and picking stuff up off the floor if you expect me to pick something off the floor, you need to give me at least a week's notice. You know, I need to plan this stuff. So, yeah, it's... I need to... If I'm going to do an ex, I can sit on the exercise bike, but it's going to be boring. If I... Vinny, stop moving around so much. If I'm doing something new, like... Uh, a new martial arts or that that would be more it would be interesting it's like a new hobby but at the same time getting physically fitter so yeah maybe look into that I'm going to do that oh yes oh yes oh yes because basically if you think it's twice a week it, that's all just twice a week or even once a week you know so but let's say twice a week go if I can find someone to go with me that's got a car and they can take me Vinny what are you doing what are you doing you want to you want to you wanna play don't you I know you're bored I haven't spent much time with you he was not happy that I left him for so long today and you know what did I tell you um you know what I did to celebrate having lost weight, cholesterol levels down, blood uh, levels, um, you know, blood pressure was down, everything was, I was an extra inch higher. I went to McDonald's to celebrate. And then I went to get a bus and the bus didn't turn up. And it was an hour to wait for a bus. Yay. So I got home eventually, but I got home about one o'clock. The appointment at the doctor's was ten thirty-one, so I was allowed. I was out of there by eleven because it was a two a double appointment. I was out of there by eleven. I didn't get home till one. So I got a taxi there and I got the bus back. Um, should have got a taxi back. The buses are just so unreliable, man. It literally just didn't turn up. Bless them. And I kept having to stop the buses because I didn't know which one was mine. Or which one I had to get, rather. I didn't own them. And I did it to two buses, stopped them. And I said, uh, well, to be fair, one of them was stopping anyway. And I went on and said, Is, uh, are you going to see if they go into my area? And one said, no, we're going to town. We're not going there. Like, 
All right. <laughs> wow. This is like, I didn't ask you out for a date. Just like, do you want to? <laughs> so I put my trousers back on. Vinny. But I got back eventually, but it was just like, yeah. It exhausted me a little bit, if I'm honest. Because this whole build up of like, I've got to go out, I've got to go out on Thursday, got to go out on Thursday, and next week I've got. Uh, yeah, I've got an optician's appointment next week. And then the following week, I've got to go back to the doctors for more what's it to, to you know for a mental health review and then yeah then it's a month I've got uh, end of October is my dentist appointment so so basically the next two Thursdays I'm going to be doing stuff like appointments Uh, oh well no oh and I've got Monday oh blimey I went to the vets and I signed him I booked him into the vets because I realised that I need to do that and I'm going to get him checked he's going to have a, a check out a check up on Monday and they're also going to scan him for the, the chip because I can't I can't get hold of the person that used to, that put the chip in him. So I don't know what the address was that the chip was, that went to. But they can scan the chip to get the number of the chip or the, the code of it or whatever. And then what I can do is go online. I think it costs £12 or something and I can just change the address to here. So... I felt like I'd stolen him, <laughs> like, I, like I'd just stolen a dog and I was trying to like change the address to mine, which is not the case. No, it isn't. So yeah, if I've got that Monday, I kind of, I might change it until October now. I'm just thinking like, oh, but hey, it's just is for him it's not for me so it's more it's more important you need to get it and he's been i think he's he need he does need a checkup he hasn't had one since i've had him does need to just get checked and make sure he's okay and get any up to date jabs and stuff like that because he's so young and he had everything when i got him so he was up to date but he's probably out of date now with stuff but he's definitely fit there's no doubt on that he's a fit boy aren't you yes you are yes you are you're fit and healthy you get so much see exercise he bearing in mind that he's practically running when I'm walking really slowly because <laughs> he's got such little legs so he's definitely and he gets a lot of running around and stuff so he's a healthy boy. You're so fit, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Anyway, that's it for me. Tomorrow, I'm going to do Q&A Friday. Uh, be like the 24th one so far. It's amazing. And I'm still getting questions. Every week I ask questions and I ask for new questions and I'm still getting them. So... Blimey, I'll just keep going until I run out, until there's no more questions to ask. Or I'll just make up my own questions. Hmm. Yeah. I think one week I did a questions from Vinny because I forgot to post a question, like any questions. So I just did a, I did a Q&A Friday, just questions from Vinny. So I can do that stuff like that can't we yes we can yes we can yes oh yes oh yes oh yes he loves fighting he loves biting me like you know pretend fighting pretend biting 
don't you? It's a lot different because when he's doing that, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He doesn't growl. He, he makes a sort of sound, but when he's actually angry, he growls like, you know. But when he's playing, he's he's actually fairly gentle, aren't you? Yeah. But. If he had a ball in his mouth and I tried to take it out, he wouldn't class that as playful. He classed that as war. <laughs> you want to take my ball, do you? Really? Are you prepared for the consequences, Daddy? Try and take my ball. You do realise my ball is in my mouth, which means you're going to have to put your fingers near my mouth. And you know what else is in my mouth other than a the ball? These things. <laughs> Big, sharp teethies. Yes. Yes, they are. So I'm going to go. I've, it's now 8.33. So I don't know what time I started this recording. Um, and I don't. This is going to take quite a bit of editing because of the the break and the, the yeah, a few different disruptions. I can't really complain though because the last few recordings I've had very little interruption. So it's okay. I'm just glad I answered the door because I was going to just ignore it. So I'm glad I did answer it because uh, my help was required. It's going to be sorted tomorrow, but it was something that was important. You've got such a lovely tail, Vinny. You have. He's a, he's a fox, basically. You know those people in the countryside that would love your tail? <laughs> yeah. I love foxes. Not in the way that they perhaps should. Don't they? Every little he is a fox. I think I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't actually a fox. You're a fox, Vinny, aren't you? You're not just foxy, but you are an actual fox. He's trying to reach his tail. He can't grab his tail. Because his tail curls up at the end. And it's always standing up, but he can't reach it like to bite can you you can't reach a tail no you can't he's trying to but you can't get it you just can't get it can you <laughs> oh yesterday I did a a first relaxation re Relax, daily relaxation, sleep, sleep hypnosis, relaxation, daily, whatever it's called. Did the first one I've done for ages. And it's number 209. So, I did upload it and everything and post it on YouTube as well. And it's the strange thing about it, because on YouTube, I post videos and I just forget about them. But all the any video that I do where it's me on camera, especially the hypnosis stuff, the relaxation stuff, it just they just gradually go up and up, and they get more views than anything else that I do. So I just post them and just because I don't keep checking the stats. That's a bit untrue, but generally I don't check the stats on YouTube so much because I'm so busy uploading new videos you know, from the archives, you know. But, yeah, it's this kind of... Another interesting thing to me is the originally the original really popular video I had. Because I deleted it from the channel and then I uploaded it again and it was the most popular video I had. Like every week is the one that got the most views, even though it was old. People, I took it off. Or is it on? It might be on there. But if it is on there, it doesn't get hardly any views. 
but part of the reason I might have taken it off actually because I can't I don't have anything with music on YouTube although I can add music on YouTube like YouTube you can use their music to add to a video I'm not completely sure how to do that but I might look into it but right now it's fine so still building the website still working on that got lots to do on the speaker podcasts uh, had a little bit of a break from them the last couple of days but there's hundreds of recordings I need to kind of create as 5 and 10 hours without music recordings and then start when I've done them when they're all complete and when the website's complete which it will be soon by Christmas anyway I yeah predict that by Christmas the website will be functional real proper everything kind of up up to date anyway then um, I can start looking at doing more new stuff yeah maybe doing some more Jason's bedtime story time or sleepy boring objects <laughs> yes or maybe I can call it Sunday sleepy boring objects Sunday slumber that's what I could do Sunday slumber and I do a like a body scan Sunday body scan I don't know I've got a thing ever since ever since ever since I've been doing the Q&A Friday which is weird because there is no I just I wanted to for some reason match the first word with the day but Q&A has nothing to do with Friday is it Q&A it's not few and a like fairy Friday or family Friday or furball Friday or fireball Friday I don't know something like that something nice like that but Q&A Friday so I guess it doesn't have to because I think like Trivia Tuesday it doesn't have to be I can do Trivia Wednesday it doesn't have to fit in with the day does it like T and T Trivia Trivia in Tuesday so just abbreviate it just T-I-T that, and then that so people that know that because you've got the L-B, L-M-B, L-M, let me bore you to sleep, L-M-B-Y-T-S, whatever it is, for this one, the Let Me Bore You To Sleep podcast. Yeah, I was thinking of doing a movie review, movie review Monday, <laughs> see, I can't help it, I just want to movie re movie review monday so what i might do is but it the problem is i can i can do a movie review of an old movie but if i do movie reviews of something that's quite up to date it's i'll be spoiling the movie for people that haven't seen it because i will talk about spoilers because i'll be i might be making fun of the movie a bit you know just just you know so that wouldn't really be fair if for people that haven't seen it but I guess let's call it spoiling movie Sunday movie spoilers Sunday or Sunday's movie spoilers yeah but then it's a review isn't it movie spoilers review is that that's a bit of a mouthful isn't it I guess so there's a whole cabbage so I don't know. So Vinny, you alright mate? So I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself. Remember to be gentle with yourself. Because you deserve to be happy. And just remember, um, 
if you find yourself saying stuff internally, you know, just to yourself that's not very pleasant, that's unkind, that's rude, that's aggressive even, or even abusive, you know, if you're saying stuff that's not very nice, just ask the question, ask yourself the question, would I, or would you, you know, would you say that to a small child? Would you think of someone that you really care about, whether it's a niece, whether it's a, a grandchild, whether it's just a friend's kid, or even if it's just a complete stranger in the street, would you walk up to that six-year-old child or three-year-old child and say those words that you're saying to yourself out loud to that child? Especially if it's someone that you care about deeply. Would you say that to them? And if the answer is no, which hopefully it should be, if the answer is no, you wouldn't, then why are you doing it to yourself? You deserve kindness. You deserve nice words. You, just as much as anyone else does. Just as much as a small child deserves to be treated with respect so do you so you know something to think about and now I'm off and by that I don't mean I'm really smelly although I am really smelly I'm just, but I am I'm now leaving I'm going so I was I will be back tomorrow I will edit this and upload it in the morning Friday morning and Q&A Friday will be, I'll do that and I'll probably edit that and upload it on Saturday morning. But Q&A Friday I'll be recording tomorrow. So thank you for listening. And I'm going to continue to stroke this little fox here. You're so cute. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Okay, bye. Lots of love. You're the cutest. You're the cutest in the whole wide world. Yes, you are. Yes, you are.